Anderson Pfeiffer puts Lancashire in control at Derby. Division 2 leaders Lancashire travelled to Derbyshire with their hosts sitting fourth in the table, 21 points behind the Red Rose. Heavy rain forced a delayed start to the action and when they did eventually walk out onto the field of play, it was after lunch with an uncontested toss seeing Lancashire put Derbyshire into bat. Jimmy Anderson and Graham Onions were the experienced opening bowlers and they picked up an early wicket when Onions had Godelman caught by Jones at gully for four. In his next over, Onions struck again, Madsen caught by Jennings for four, making it ten for two. Onions' dream opening spell continued in his next. He returned figures of three for eight in his opening four overs, lace the man out, LBW, for yet again four. Reese then chopped onto his stumps off Anderson, leaving Derbyshire in real trouble as they found themselves 16 for four in the 13th over. Anderson then dispatched Hussain LBW for seven, and it was only thanks to some good counter-attacking play from Alex Hughes that the home team started to find a way back into the match. Hughes hit several boundaries along with partner Critchley as Derbyshire recovered to 86 for 5 at the tea interval. If anything, the break on this occasion proved a hindrance to the batting side as in the first over after tea, Anderson removed Critchley, caught Villas for 30. Anderson then claimed his fourth when he bowled Hughes for 32 to make the score 91 for 7. And England's strike bowler completed his five-wicket haul when he trapped Van Beek LBW for a duck in the same over. De Pluy and Connors saw the home team to three figures and they put on 48 runs for the eighth wicket, only to see their partnership broken just before it reached 50. Connors caught by Hamid off Bohannon for 14. Rampal struck a few blows to the fence. Before he too fell, caught by Bahanan off Mahmood for 13, leaving Dupuis stranded on 38 not out. Derbyshire all out for 153, leaving Lancashire an awkward five overs to bat to the close. It proved too awkward for Jennings, the opener back in the hutch in the third over as he fell LBW to Reese for a duck. But Davis and night watchman Mahmood saw play through to stumps with no further losses. Lancashire 8 for 1, 145 runs behind Derbyshire's first innings effort. Lancashire eke out a lead before Onions demolishes the Derbyshire top order again. Five wickets from Jimmy Anderson and three from Graham Onions helped Lancashire decimate the Derbyshire batting lineup on day one of their match at the county ground, but the home team had grabbed a breakthrough late on to leave Lancashire 8 for 1 in pursuit of overhauling Derbyshire's first innings total of 153. Davis and Mahmood were the men at the crease and they added some early runs as both batsmen found the boundary, Mahmood in particular slipping into the night watchman role with real gusto. In the end, his attacking approach would prove his undoing, however, as the ball after striking Reese for four, he nicked off to be caught by Hussain for 20. Before Davis fell, caught by Hughes off Reese for 41. Hamid fell for nine. But Livingston and Jones managed to hold off the Derby attack through to lunch, arriving there on 94 for four. Into the afternoon, Livingston added a few boundaries before falling to Van Beek, Hughes with the catch as he fell for 29. That left Lancashire still 34 shy of their rivals' first innings score, but they managed to reduce that to 19 before the next wicket went down. Jones, the man to go, LBW to Connors for 13. Villas and Croft were thrown together. They started to motor along, Villas striking the boundary that saw Lancashire move into the lead. The pair brought up a quick-fire 50 partnership in just 13 overs, but they weren't to add anything beyond the 50, as Reese completed his five-wicket haul when he trapped Villas LBW for 32. In his next over, Reese made it six, as he had Bahannon caught by Critchley for a duck. But Onions then chipped in with some useful boundaries to keep Croft company, and they arrived at T214 for eight, a lead of 61.
After the break, Onions fell without adding anything to his 18-run score, Lace taking the catch off Rampal. But there was still time for Croft to move to 50, the mark coming up off 76 balls and including six fours. In the end, Croft was left stranded on 53 as Anderson fell LBW to Rampal for six, bringing Lancashire's innings to an end on 236, a lead of 83 runs. That lead looked highly impressive at the end of a 12.1 over spell that the Lancashire attack were afforded at the Derbyshire top order ahead of the close of play. Just as he had done in the first Derbyshire innings, Onions took the first wicket, Lace caught behind for three in the second over. And Onions picked up a second in the sixth over of the innings, bowling Madsen for nine to chalk up his 700th first class wicket. Anderson managed to get in on the act in the next over, trapping Godelman LBW for five, and Onions then dismissed Dupuy in the same fashion with the first ball of the 13th over, as Derbyshire were reduced to 19 for four. At that point, the home team was saved by the rain, their scorecard read a woeful 19 for four at the close, and they face an uphill struggle to try and salvage anything from the game. Heading into day three, they still trail Lancashire by 64 runs, with only six second innings wickets remaining. Anderson and Onions bowl Lancashire to a 10-wicket victory. When bad light ended play, Derbyshire were looking at an uphill battle at the end of day two. They'd already seen how potent Graham Onions and Jimmy Anderson could be on a green top under grey skies at the Patanair County ground, and they were to be on the receiving end once more in the morning. Alex Hughes and Harvey Hussain resumed with the side on 19 for four. And despite the size of their task, the pair started well, negotiating England's record wicket taker and steering the side past 50. But when it seemed Derbyshire had finally found some stability, three wickets in seven balls threw the innings back into disarray. Hughes was caught behind for 16 off the bowling of Anderson, before the England man found the pads of Matt Critchley, trapping him LBW for two. Mahmood then struck, Lewis Rees edging to Jennings at first slip to go for a duck. And then a few overs later, Anderson would pick up his third. Van Beek caught a gully, departing cheaply. Connors did his best to dig in alongside Hussain, his side now tantalisingly close to avoiding an innings defeat. But it would be the number five who departed next, Onions finding the edge, Villas taking the catch, Hussain gone for 29. Ravi Rampal's two runs would prove crucial, the difference between a defeat by an innings and an impending defeat. He was then bowled by Onions to bring the innings to an end, and that set Lancashire a target of just two to achieve victory. Once again, it had been Lancashire's veteran seamers who'd run through the Derbyshire order. Onions finishing with figures of 5 for 38, Anderson adding 4 to 29 to his first innings, 5 for 17. The Lancashire reply would be brief. Jennings edged the first ball through the gully to find the boundary and seal a 10-wicket win for his side, a chastening defeat for Derbyshire. Whilst Derbyshire managed to avoid the ignominy of an innings defeat, they'd found no reply for the garland experience of Anderson and Onions, both masters of their craft. They'll look to bounce back next week when they welcome Middlesex to Derby. Lancashire will take on struggling Durham as they look to reinforce their position at the top of the Division 2 table. 20 points for Lancashire then, and just three for Derbyshire. Thank you.